What's up guys, Chad here with Greenlight Shooting. So I'm in the process of making some ballistics gel for my uh, home defense video I'm making. And I figured that it'd be a cool thing to share. Now keep in mind, this is my very first time doing this. I, uh, you know, I don't know if this is gonna work. I just looked something up online and I'm following that. So, uh, here's what we've got here. I just picked up this little storage pin. You can see it's like $3.50. Um, I'm gonna fill this up with two gallons of water. Uh, and then I also got a bunch of packages of this Knox gelatin. Uh, all the, everything I read online said that's the brand to go with. Those were about like $9 a, a box. And I wanna say they're like eight ounces. It says eight ounces on the box. I think it's probably eight ounces for the entire box. So generally speaking, from what I've read, you want a 10% mixture. Uh, so 10% gelatin to like the 100% of gelatin and water. Uh, so if you're doing a gallon of water at 128 ounces, you want about 13 ounces of that gelatin. So I'm gonna use 26 ounces of gelatin in two gallons of water. Uh, now I've also read two different approaches to this. The first approach is to just mix it up with cold water, throw it in the fridge for a couple hours, let it set, uh, and then remelt it, like set it in, you know, like your sink or something with hot water, and just let it remelt, put it into a different container. And from what I've read, the the reason behind that is to get any air bubbles out and just make it a little bit smoother. Then you throw it back in the fridge like overnight, like 12 to 36 hours to let it fully set. No, I don't have that much time because we're shooting these on Thursday. Today's Tuesday night. So another option I read was to do it primarily with hot water. So we're just gonna put two gallons of hot water in here to begin with, and then we're gonna slowly stir uh, the 26 ounces of gelatin in there. Um, just trying to keep all the bubbles out as much as possible. It said there will be some foam on top, we'll scrape that off, and then just throw it in the fridge until we shoot. And hopefully it works out, hopefully it sets. So yeah, let's give it a shot. First up, uh, hot water. They said don't use boiling, by the way. Like 104 degrees is ideal. I don't have a thermometer, but I'm just gonna go with some, some tap water and set it to pretty hot and then just roll with that. Oh man, this isn't sealed. All right, so uh, make sure your container is watertight. <laughs> Luckily, I got this other one, and it holds exactly two gallons, but like there isn't enough room for me to add the gelatin and stir, so maybe I'm gonna have to do like a gallon and a half. Um, I also forgot to mention to spray the container with non-stick. Uh, I didn't do that until after the first gallon, so hopefully it'll still work. Um, but yeah, so 192 ounces of water it means we're gonna go with about 19 ounces of gelatin. Now when you're doing it this hot water way, just add that gelatin really, really slowly and stir it really, really well. Uh, stir it slowly so that, you know, if you get going fast, it's gonna create those air bubbles. So you really wanna avoid all that. Uh, and it said to do this literally over the course of like 10 or 20 minutes. So really just take your time. So uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So that was one entire box. And I'm at 7.7 .7 ounces there. So I did say there'd be a lot of clumps. So stir as much as you can, and then it said to go in with your hands and break up all the big clumps. Ew. Ew. Your hands? Yeah. Ew. I've been going for probably 15 minutes and I can't get these chunks out. So I'm taking these last few chunks out by hand and throwing it in the fridge. That's as good as it's getting. Uh, it's late. This is not cool. <laughs> Can you see my fingers? Look at this. This is how long I've been doing him. Like, my hands are completely pruned up right now. Um, so I'm gonna throw this in and we'll see, but I'm not expecting good things out of this.
All right, we made it out to the range. So, uh, you know, we're setting up here, getting a couple nice shots, but I've got the ballistic gel over here. I've got it in a cooler so that it didn't melt or anything. You can see it. So, I don't know if you can see it in there or not. There we go. So, it's still got some of those uh, clumps up there, but it's pretty freaking solid. So, I'm interested to see how it works out. I'm gonna go place it out on a bench out there because it's the only really flat surface we've got. I'm gonna try and cut it into two pieces. I know it's not very long, but uh, I wanna try and get two shots out of it. So I'm gonna use a nine hollow point, a critical defense, a Hornady critical defense, and then a 45 of the same type of round. Remember, these aren't bullets. Look at that thing. Ah! <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so here it is. We've got one for 45, one for nine. Uh, it's about temperature out here, it's about freezing it's about 32 degrees but the sun's out and uh, these are definitely cold we just took them out of the the cooler as you saw so they're they're definitely still refrigerated cold um, we don't have anything nice and soft to put them on so they're just going right here I'm gonna do my very best I feel like I missed. You bet. I think I missed. How the f did I miss? Hit it that time. Nice. Check this out. Ooh, it went right through. I don't know if you can see it or not. You see it up there? I don't know if you can see, this thing went flipping end over end. Uh, it's kind of hard to write net, hard to see. Maybe we'll cut this open, but they definitely got a much bigger cavity in there. All right, so we have the nine here first. Let's try and cut this open and we can kind of see some of the bullet track. This is gonna be a, a touchy cut here. I don't really. Okay. So, whew, that really, really, wow. That cut in deep, man. Okay, so here's the entrance right here. And you can see it kind of trickles down, but this, this cavity is what's really kind of doing all the damage. Holy crap, look how deep that cut out, man. Jeez. 
So penetration wise, this was, I wanna say like 12 inches. So the bullet you can see just barely gets out at the end of 12 inches. But that intro wound, geez, you can see, wow. There's just like multiple. It's not just like the bullet goes through and then it like expands and comes back or whatever. Like it's like multiple lacerations going out in those. Let's see what 45 looks like. That entrance hole is already a lot bigger. Okay, so here's our entrance. And wow, there's a lot of lacerations in there, but I mean the cavity itself, like the, the explosion here, goes a lot longer. You know, when you look at the nine here, it's going from there to there. And it's, I don't know, I'd say maybe an inch, inch and a half tall. I think you're still only seeing about that inch, inch and a half here, but it's going for probably twice as long. I don't know if you guys can see over there or not, but you can see the lacerations like as they go through this, it follows like a, a spiral, like one. So that's one rotation from there to there. And it's just cutting up in all directions as it goes. You can, this is the nines version. You can kind of see it's doing the same thing. There's a rotation from here to here, but it is definitely a much smaller cavity. And it looks like the, you know, the cavity itself stops about here. And then you've just got a single line from probably, I don't know, maybe two thirds the way back versus this end. You know, yeah, that, you're getting a complete cavity all the way through. It's not till, I don't even know if I'd say right here it was just bullet. Like you're getting full on spiral cavity all the way through 12 inches. That's pretty nuts to see. All right, so uh, that's the end of our how to make your own ballistic gel video. Obviously, I, I didn't do it perfect. I don't know why all those <laughs> rocks are falling over there. Uh, I mean, you've got a lot of these chunks, and I don't think the chunks are really bad in terms of performance, but they're certainly bad in terms of viewing. Uh, they make actually seeing that track a little bit tougher than it needs to be. So um, if I was gonna do this again, I would try putting the powder in first and then the water. I've heard that it should make less clumps. I don't know, I heard both ways. So um, anyways, I try that next, and then the clumps that I do have at the end that I just gave up on, I would try and scrape every last one of those out. Um, I was worried that the, the gel wouldn't be like stiff enough because you know I lost all those clumps worth of, of powder, but it seemed to work fine, and you know it, it did what it was supposed to for this this job, which was pretty cool. The yellow color sort of sucks. I read that putting some cinnamon oil in it will help give you a clear uh, gel, finished gel. I don't know. I might have to try that next time. But anyways, this was certainly a cool thing to see. It's really really cool to see that 45 and how much deeper the cavity goes. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know. It's cool to have like full on evidence in front of your eyes inst instead of repeating what you've heard over the years versus on nine verse 45. So anyways, that's the ballistic gel video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for the informal nature of it. It was my first time, but I'm pretty happy with the results and I feel confident moving forward that I could do it better next time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did hit that thumbs up button and uh, we'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting.